what's going on guys? Welcome back to James Reviews. I am James Michael and today we got a quick review on an update to one of the go-to stability options from Asus. The Jill DS Trainer 25. Yep, 25. And today we brought back Lindsay Q and you can catch her on the IG providing running advice, tips, and all kinds of motivation. But today she'll be showing off the DS Trainer in action and giving her thoughts in the post review. But until then, Let's see what the DS Trainer 25 is all about. So if you try the DS Trainer 24, you're going to be very familiar with the 25, as far as how it looks and feels. The knit upper to me is still one of the best feeling knits that can still give a decent hold. Not that loosey goosey sloppy knit. It keeps everything in place fine. The heel cup is stiff and sturdy. And for the sake of being a stability shoe, it does keep your shoe locked down. And I like how they blended the overlay with the model name to give the shoe a bit more structure within the design. Moving on to the cushioning, I would say that there was some subtle changes here. Here, Asics made use of Flight Flome Light. And of course, we got some gel. Not a lot, but it's there. Now last year's model was a bit stiff and firm. Which isn't always a bad thing, considering this is supposed to be a more faster, more up-tempo shoe. So a bit of firmness makes the shoe feel faster and responsive. In this year's cushioning, it felt just a tad more forgiving. The midfoot just has a bit of the compression that last year's shoe never quite had. Either way, it's still a firm shoe, with a touch of medial stability for those who tend to roll inward during their gait cycle. And notice I said a touch of stability. Nothing crazy. I would even say that many neutral runners can run in this shoe fine, if they're looking for a more responsive trainer from Asics. In the outsole, you have some high abrasion rubber that covers almost the entire base of the shoe. And while many shoes are trying to cut out the weight by using less rubber, ASIC seems to value durability a bit more in this shoe. The traction was fine during wet and dry roll conditions, but nothing too exciting, but no complaints. So is the JLDS Trainer 25 going to make ASICs great again? Honestly, I don't think so, but I don't think it was really trying to. I think the DS Trainer 25 just fits the purpose of being a firmer, lighter weight stability option for up-tempo running. Now, if that sounds a bit niche to you, then it probably is. ASICS has been dropping some new designs and some updated concepts, and the DS Trader just does what it always did. It's just a bit better than what it was. So yeah, it has its purpose. So I suppose I can dig it. Test your might. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy Jim Michael from Jim Reviews here. Back again with the post review review. Today we got the DS Trainer 25, and of course we got Lindsay Q back at it again. It's been a long time. I'm glad you're back. You look great. It's glad to be back. Yes, <laughs> and as some of you may know, I am the advocate for the making Exus Great Again movement. MAGA. Now some people get mad at what I say. I don't know why, but you know, I'm a big fan of Asics, and this is their lightweight fast speedier stability shoes you know my thoughts but we're here for lindsay q i can't call you lindsay i gotta say lindsay q, lindsay q. And I, it's, it's how i first like knowing you so i'm like lindsay q okay so what do you think of the shoe as far as your first impressions was it good bad was it stiff was it hard was it soft do you like it what was that first like thought it was good um they felt light whenever i first picked them up and then i I've taken my other shoe off and put this one on and I like how it didn't have like a huge heel on it so it felt really good running maybe like for some speed. Speed. See yeah. you had that thing called speed. I don't quite I don't quite have it anymore. So for me it was a little firm but it wasn't as firm as last year. Last year's shoe was a little more like it kind of was just stiff. This is like stiffness but a little like a little like push a little, a little compression how's the, the knit upper i like it i feel like a lot of shoes have gone to the knit upper i like it <laughs> you think it's cute i think it's cute because i think i know I think it's real cute <laughs> i know Asics are like the, the brand's like old man shoe and not as cool anymore but i think they did a good job more so your colorway uh, yes. mine's Very is cute. a little it's, it's cool it's like you know but yours is like cute, cute. like you, oh, you could wear those and yes. they'd be like hey those are cute shoes yeah. where'd you get those at i wouldn't be called old lady shoes i'll be old lady yeah <laughs> maybe one day i will we'll be old ladies but right now we're, we're still we're still moving more so her she's actually yeah. fast you say you're not fast but i feel like maybe we should like have a race or something one day <laughs> that would be very bad if that, if that would if i race 
And here's the thing, I have no shame getting beat by a woman. I've been getting beat by girls my whole life as far as like racing. Like, I'm slow. But if you beat me, the problem is you have the following. So it's not like I get beat by a girl, like, okay, I got beat. No, like 50,000 people are gonna see. All your followers are gonna be like, man, she killed him, and then they're gonna troll me. Why you can't lose? 400? Then if I win, it's like, oh, well, he's supposed to win. So it's like a lose lose. Either I win, and like I break even, or I lose, and I'm like, shamed. Dang. The outsole, it kind of just basic rubber. I don't think it was anything amazing. I don't think many shoes have anything that's amazing under there. It's just rubber. Yeah. But you have rubber. Some shoes don't have rubber anymore. They're doing the whole exposed EVA foam thing. This this has something you can grip on. It's for the road. Don't go on like tactical trails and go up mountains and snow and lines. Don't need all that. Just stay on the trails like the dirt and the gravel and the concrete and the asphalt. Anything else you want to say about the shoe, Asics? What do you think about Asics as a whole? Honestly, haven't run in Asics very much. Okay. Um, I don't know why, but I really liked these. So all right. I'm going to keep trying them out and might be wearing more Asics. So maybe. <laughs> So what's your brand? You know, people say, I'll oh, respond to you, can't mention any brand. I'm not a sponsor, I can say what I want. So, what other brands oh, do you wear? It's hard because growing up, like, I literally only wore Mizunos, um, and I still really like Mizunos, but I've also transitioned. I wear a lot of Brooks and New Balance, um, trying out Nike for the first time. <laughs> for the first time? Well, I ran in their spikes forever growing up, but training shoes, I never wore them, and I'm trying them out now. Yeah. Were well, you a, a Texas, oh no, Texas school. Were you um Nike school when you were at, uh, in college? We were Adidas, but they weren't strict on that we had to wear them. Okay. So I wore my Mizunos all through college and then Nike for my spikes. <laughs> Facts, all right. Well, I think it's good you have a good variety of shoes that you try. So people are, I only wear this brand and that brand. Well, hopefully, if things go well, you can join the movement of yeah. MAGA. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, even though you already have like all the followers on Instagram, how can they follow you if they want to learn, learn more about what you do? Instagram name is on the run fit, Lindsay Q. <laughs> really just on the run fit, but my name is Lindsay Q. Lindsay Q. So that's how you can find me. I feel like you didn't hype it up enough. <laughs> you gotta follow on the run fit on the IG. Follow her links down below. She does coaching, just advice. She does the promos for all the new brands you want to see. She got stuff before I got it. I saw you what you got in your, in your post. You be having stuff like that. What is that? I don't wanna know what that is yet. You're like, got these early hashtag sponsored. No, but it's cool. I follow her, you should too. You can follow me too if you like. But with that said, be sure to stay in school. Don't do drugs. And if you can, and I know it may be hard for some of you, but let's try to keep it tight. Gotta whisper it because they feel the energy coming from them. If the audio was a little quiet, I'm sorry, we did our best, but you know. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. You drove, for having you drove me. like, you know, an hour and a half worth of traffic just yeah. getting here. That's true. Which we'll I can get you on more often. But yeah. In Sadie. <laughs> I know, I'm missing little Sadie head right Well, I'll make sure I got a little clip of her at the end. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll add the little blooper. <laughs> She's the real star. She's the real star. She's the real MVP. You can follow her. What's her Instagram? Mm, Sadie Q the Dachshund. <laughs> yeah, I followed I follow her first and I found you yep. through her and I was like, alright. Alright, that's it. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. We did good. Blabbering. About nothing. <laughs> I feel like I'm so bad at videos. I never do videos. I do pictures. Alright Sadie, 